information that we heard earlier uh, this week about um, Miles Morales uh, possibly being in uh, live action or in the MCU. Uh, there's a report that came out earlier this week. I'm going to use the one from Screen Rant, but um, before I do that, all, all this information, all these reports, information is coming from Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, a film that just came out. Uh, so that's my grade. I already posted this on Instagram. Uh, so I watched it on Friday. Considering that the system that I have with the movie canon, you know, see it, stream it, skip it. I'll, I'll still say this is a C. It. I give it a B minus. And in my Instagram post regarding the grade, I did put a little asterisk. I forgot to add it here, but so and then the asterisk was there was because everyone and their mom seemed to really, really like this movie. I don't think I haven't seen any indication at all of any negative review at all or reaction to this movie so my b minus here is because i i didn't love the movie just like the first one spider-man into the spider-verse i thought it was a decent movie um, that it was wasn't too bad uh, but i didn't think it was great and i didn't think it was among the greatest of the Spider-Man movies either. So, uh, you know, a lot of people are saying that this is their, this particular one, the Cross, the Spider-Verse. People are saying that it's not only the best Spider-Man movie, it's not only the best comic book movie, I'm hearing it's the best movie of all time now for a lot of people. I don't agree with that at all. Like I said, you can <clears throat> be minus there. Like I said, I'm not gonna go into a whole review of this movie. Uh, there were some problems that I had with the film. The th especially the the third act, um, the last like scene or so seemed a little we've seen this before type of thing. Like I said, there's always an issue when it comes to storylines. So okay, and I did think it was a little too long for what it was as well. So this is uh, one part Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. If you loved and you like the first one, then of course you're really gonna like this. You're gonna like this a lot more than I would. You'll probably give it an A, A plus, A minus, whatever the case. To me, it was kind of like the same, like the first Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse. Kind of about the same there. So not bad. Just I don't think it's as great as everyone is saying. And I had a, I still had a lot of problems with with this movie. But I still say see it grade B minus. So there you go. Okay, so the main thing that I want to talk about here today in this Met Report episode, and uh, we have this information that we got earlier this week. So, again, this is again this is coming from. Uh, uh, so, I think it came from the premiere of Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. So this is from Screen Rant, uh, the website there, and we have here producer Amy Pascal talks about. Uh, the possibility of a live-action Miles Morales movie uh, happening in the future. One of Marvel's beloved web-slingers is getting ready to swing back to the big screen as Miles' adventure continues in Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. The highly anticipated sequel will not only take Miles' story further, but go deeper into the larger Spider-Verse. Okay. Um, so we have here... With Miles' popularity... Again, I'm reading the article here. Having increased th thanks to the Spider-Verse franchise, many have been wondering when Sony will actually adapt him into live action. It appears the studio is getting closer to making that become a reality. In a new interview with Variety, uh, Pascal, which is a producer, a longtime Spider-Man producer, and former co-chairperson of Sony Pictures, was asked about the chances of a live action movie for Miles, which also bringing up the chances of a Spider-Woman project. Though Pascal didn't uh, give away specifics, she teased strongly that the word will see all of it. Even if Sony hasn't announced an actual live-action Miles Morales movie yet, Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse may already be setting it up. In one of the most recent Across the Spider-Verse trailers, uh, the new villain Spot briefly visits Sony's Spider-Man universe, which is the franchise for... And then I'm going to get into some spoilers, so I'm, I'm going to stop there. Because uh, I don't want to... You know, talk about any spoilers in this, because I mean, 
it's not a spoiler review but there's some information from this producer pascal she's she's being a little vague but there's a lot of there's a lot of like nuggets i guess little points little scattered clues throughout her interview and in spider-man across the spider-verse and if you've seen the other spider-man mcu movies with tom holland there's a lot of things in there that will make you believe and based on all this information with the totality of all this information i do believe miles morales will make an appearance in a live action spider-man movie and most likely or specifically in the spider-man mcu uh franchise there's uh again i'm not gonna go into spoilers but there is a uh, or a moment in spider-man across the spider-verse I'm not going to give you the context of it. I'm not going to tell you the details of it. If you've seen the movie, I think you know what I'm referring to. But there's a moment in Spider-Man Across Spider-Verse that to me confirms many things regarding Miles Morales in a live action, specifically MCU movie. And uh, with that, I'll, uh, I'll agree that there will be a Miles Morales appearance in a live-action Spider-Man movie, and I do think it'll be in the MCU. Uh, right now, Spider-Man 4 with Tom Holland is on hold because of the writer's strike, so they will eventually get back to working on that movie. I don't think it's going to come out like they initially said. I think they said it was supposed to come out like in 2024 or something, which that's not going to happen now. Uh, so probably 2025, 2026, we'll see Spider-Man 4 with Tom Holland. And from my understanding, they are making a, another trilogy of Spider-Man movies with Tom Holland. That's my understanding of it. I don't know what the agreements are with Sony and, and Disney and Marvel Studios. So it looks like they are still considering or, or are still moving forward with the partnership they already have. So uh, I do expect that Spider-Man 4, another trilogy with uh, Tom Holland. Tom Holland is still very young, that he can do another three a Spider-Man movie is another trilogy, a Spider-Man saga with uh, with Tom Holland, and within that, I'm sure we'll get a Miles Morales in there. I, I don't see why not. I mean, Miles Morales is very popular now uh, since uh, Spider-Verse. Um, it's getting even more popular with just this big opening of Spider-Man across the Spider-Verse, making 120 million dollars uh, domestically and in total 208 million dollars internationally so yes i do expect miles morales now depending on the partnership that sony has with disney marvel studios uh, it'll either be with the mcu or sony could still make a live action miles morales sony a movie just like they have with venom so they might i mean they could do that either way i, I do expect the miles morales live action spider-man a movie and this is just information that came out earlier this week and plugging in all the points that's my speculation there right um and then the whole the other reason why i kind of grabbing these nuggets of information or whatever and coming up with a conclusion that yes Mount morales will be in a live action spider-man movie most likely an mcu movie is because of announcements that i saw or reports that i saw years ago like a year before spider-man no way home i came out I, I think they didn't even have a title yet um they there was a report that you know alfred molina was going to be in the new spider-man movie with tom holland that, that's referring to no way home so that was like a year probably more before the movie came out so we already knew that there was some kind of multiverse going on thing multiverse thing going on when it comes to the mcu and then they there's that report that Alfred Molina was going to be in it. In my mind, okay, so why would this Doc Ock be in Tom Holland's Spider-Man movie? Unless there's a multiverse thing going on with Spider-Man. And that they're going to bring in Tobey Maguire. So that was my first confirmation. At least in my mind that there's going to be a Tobey Maguire Spider-Man. In this a new Tom Holland Spider-Man 3 which turned out to be No Way Home that was like a year or over a year before that movie came out and then just like a couple months later maybe like a month later there was a report that uh, that uh, Electro uh, Jamie Foxx 
was going to reprise his role as the villain in that Spider-Man movie that turned out to be No Way Home. So to me, it's like, okay, well, okay, so then we're going to get Andrew Garfield too in this movie. None of that was confirmed. None of that information was confirmed. There was just rumors everywhere. A lot of people had the same theories as I did. They're bringing Toby and Andrew in this Spider-Man multiverse type of movie. Again, that turned out to be No Way Home. So, so kind of that, those little pieces of information I'm kind of gathering here. And again, some of the information regarding Miles Morales live action is coming from some information in this movie, Across the Spider-Verse, that I don't want to get into because it's kind of spoilery. So I don't want to talk about that right now. Um, so yeah, so so that's those are my thoughts on, on that. So again, that's a Spider-Man, um, Miles Morales. I do believe that there will be a Miles Morales live action uh, version coming coming soon, either part of the MCU or or standalone with Sony.